Our thought of the day comes from Psalms 33 verse 12 and it says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people who he has chosen as his inheritance. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. I wonder when was the last time you reflected on who God is? Well, this psalm gives us a number of insights. It says in verse 6 that he created the heavens, the stars and the moon, all by just the command of his word. Verse 11 says that his plans endure forever. Verse 14 and 15 says that he looks down and he knows our thoughts and he considers what we do. And in verse 18 and 19, he says that for those that who obey him, he can save from death and famine. Blessed is the nation who chooses this God as their Lord. But I wonder what happens. People don't seem to know this. The consensus in the UK for the last two decades show a steady decline in people who declare themselves as Christians. When the census results come out later this year, they predict a further decline, maybe below 50% of people in the UK who say, who declare themselves Christians. So I want to use this thought of the day to encourage us to pray. To pray. Let's pray for our nation to turn and see God as their Lord. Let's pray for the nations where we might be going on holiday this summer. Let's pray that they turn and choose God as their Lord. Maybe even closer to home as we choose a new prime minister. Let's pray for our political leaders that they may choose God as their Lord. Even closer, let's pray for Kettering. Let's pray for our communities that they may turn and choose God as their Lord. And how about us? Have you chosen God as your Lord? Well, if you have, it says that God has chosen you too and you are blessed. So let's spend today praying for others and choosing, as verse one says, to sing a joyful song to the Lord. Yes, you righteous people, for it is right and just to praise God. Amen.